Good evening and a Merry Christmas to all. Christmas is just so much fun with presents and Christmas trees and decorations and parties. But tonight, we are going to take a look at the real meaning of Christmas with a tale that is so magical and so amazing that every year it is told around the world at Christmas time. Our story begins a long, long time ago, in a far off land, over 2,000 years ago. It is a story that changed the world even, and especially, to this day. Let us journey back in time to a small village called Nazareth. There we find Mary, a quiet, ordinary girl who was soon to receive the surprise of her life when she is visited by a beautiful angel surrounded by a dazzling bright light. At first, Mary is very afraid and cries out. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? You are scaring me. My name is Gabriel. I am the Archangel Gabriel. I have been sent directly by God. I have come to give you a really important message. God has chosen you. You do not need to be afraid. No, I don't understand. I am just an ordinary girl. Why would God choose me? What is this message that is so important? Mary, you are going to have a baby. A baby boy and his name will be called Jesus. He will be the Son of God, and He will save the world. But how can that be? I am not even married yet. What will my fiancé Joseph say? This is all so strange and so scary. Be not afraid, Mary. You are in God's hands. All will be well. Joseph will understand, and he will help you. Well, as you can imagine, it took a while before Mary, and of course Joseph, could even begin to understand what God was asking of them. But they knew that God had chosen them, and this was important, although they were still a little scared. Now, at this time, there was a law that everyone had to go to their nearest big town and report there so that they could pay their taxes. So Mary and Joseph set off to Bethlehem. But by now, Mary was very pregnant, and it was not long before her baby was going to be born. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they found that all the inns and hotels were full, and they could not get a room anywhere. They finally found a kindly innkeeper. You need a room to stay tonight? Well, I don't think you'll find any rooms in town tonight. Everyone has come in to Bethlehem so that they can register and pay their taxes. It is the law, you know. Everywhere is full. Sold out. I'm so sorry, but I just don't have anything. Look, I know it's getting late, but Mary is about to have her baby. We are desperate. We have nowhere to go. We have to find somewhere. Every inn we have tried is full. Surely you must have a room. We will take anything. Mm, the only room I have is for animals. It's the stable out at the back. 
There are cows and chickens and a donkey in there. Probably a few mice too, I expect. But it's all I have. That is no place for a mother to have her baby. Oh, thank you, thank you. We will take it. Oh, thank you. A hundred times. Come on, Mary. At least it's a dry roof over our heads tonight, and oh, my goodness, you look so tired. We will be warm and comfortable there. Mary and Joseph were settling in at the stable, our story moves outside to a clear, cold and starry night. In the middle of a field, outside the town of Bethlehem, are a group of shepherds, simple farming folk who are looking after their sheep on the hillside. Suddenly they see a great light and are very afraid. The archangel Gabriel descends down from the sky and walks among them. Be not afraid. I am the angel of the Lord, and I have come to bring you wonderful news. The Son of God is to be born nearby, and you will be among the first to visit and meet him. He will be called Jesus, and he will come to save us all. And then suddenly a whole host of angels appeared in the sky. They were praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill towards all. Well, as you can imagine, all the shepherds were terrified, but they knew that this was no ordinary angel, and this was no ordinary message. They asked Angel Gabriel, how could they possibly find their way to this special newborn baby? You see that beautiful bright star shining so strongly way up in the night sky. Then follow that star all the way, and you will surely find the Son of God, the baby Jesus. Go now, as God commands, and meet the Messiah, the Chosen One, who will save the world. Well, every story always has a mean, nasty character, and our Christmas story is no different. The king who ruled the land was a horrible, scary man. His name was King Herod. I have heard the most distressing rumors of some special baby being born in Bethlehem. What is so special about a baby? I am the king here. 
king of the Jews. No one is more important or special than I am. Send out an order to the palace guards to find and kill every child under two years old. That way, I will ensure that everyone knows who is in charge. Ha ha ha! I will soon find that baby Jesus. Ha! Messiah indeed. In the meantime, the Archangel Gabriel had one more message to deliver and came down in a blindingly bright light and visited three kings who were wise men who lived way out in the east. You three kings are very wise men. God is commanding you to visit the town of Bethlehem. You see that beautiful bright star shining so strongly way up in the clear night sky? Then follow that star all the way, and there you will surely find the Son of God, the baby Jesus. Go now as God commands and meet the Messiah, the Chosen One, who will save the world. And so the three wise men, the three kings from the east, set off westwards for the long, long journey on their camels to Bethlehem by following the bright star way up in the dark, starry night. Each king bought a present. Two kings gave frankincense and myrrh, both of which are like luxurious perfumes. The third king brought gold coins which in those days was money. The shepherds and the three wise men were gathered in the humble stable with Mary and Joseph and the newborn baby Jesus, 
who was sent by God to save us all. The stable was warm and bright and full of animals, and there was much rejoicing. It was obvious to all that Jesus was a special baby indeed. He was the Son of God. There was no furniture and no crib for the baby Jesus to lie down in, so Mary wrapped him snugly up in a cloth and put him to bed in a manger of hay. The next morning, Joseph woke up and was worried. He said to Mary, The three wise men have warned me about that mean King Herod. Mary, it is not safe for the three of us to stay here in Bethlehem. King Herod's soldiers will surely come for Jesus. We must leave. I had this dream last night telling us that we must travel far away to a country called Egypt. And in time, Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus did indeed leave Bethlehem and went to live safely in the land of Egypt, safe from King Herod and his soldiers. And now, every Christmas Day, we remember and celebrate the birth of Jesus, the Son of God who was sent to save us and still lives amongst us all to this day. Some may say, that this is the end of the Christmas story, but really, it is just the beginning. And so I wish you a Merry Christmas with peace and goodwill to all. May God bless you. Merry Christmas! Glory to be in the God in the highest. Peace on earth. Glory to all. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Good wills to all. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth and good will toward all. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth and good will towards all. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth and goodwill towards all. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth and goodwill toward all. Merry